Bird? Richard Bird. You want to stand this way? Go away and see. Y'all love old Richard Bird? Now, how old are you, Richard? You're 11 years old. Now, now, Richard, did you give your heart to Jesus? Come on, step back, step back. And uh, you love him with all your heart? And you promise you're going to serve the Lord from this day forward? Do you believe he died on the cross for you? And he rose again. What do you want to do when you get older? Um, I'm really not sure, but I do want to get my father. Amen. 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 Okay, praise the Lord, amen. Some of us might be working for Richard in the future. You never know, right? But uh, we love you. We know that you're going to be a great man of God. Now, now are you going to be bold in your profession of faith? Are you going to tell kids at your school about the Lord Jesus? All right. So it's our privilege to baptize you today. And will you have me with you, your mom? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you have anything you want to say to anybody or maybe your mom or your brother or anybody? Well, I kind of feel nervous because it's my first time getting baptized. Did you say your first time or third time? First. Okay, first time. I know you're like touching me. My first time. Amen. What's our privilege to baptize you today, Richard? Hey, Richard, it's a great privilege to baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We have Jordan Thomas here that's getting baptized. How old are you, Jordan? Six. Six years old. Okay, that's mighty young to be baptized. Have you given your heart to Jesus? Yes. And you love him with all your heart. And you're going to grow up to be a good Christian woman? Yes. Are you going to tell people about Jesus everywhere you go? Yes. Amen. Amen. So you invited them into your heart. And you love them with every bit of your heart. Now, now who's here with you tonight? Your grandma and your mama are here. Do you have anything you want to say to anybody before you say to them or anybody before you get baptized? It's our first time getting baptized, amen? So we're going to baptize you tonight, Jordan. Awesome. Jordan, it's a great privilege to baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Ministers, yeah, if you can, if God, if God gives you a word, amen, if God gives you a prophetic word or maybe a word of uh, wisdom, a word of knowledge uh, for, the, for, the, for any of these young people that we're baptizing, you know, you have liberty here, amen? So uh, any of the ministers want to just kind of put out, you know, just on this back side of the good. And uh, and your name is Christian? Praise the name of the Lord, amen. 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 Christian, you're going to grow up to be a great man of God, amen? You're going to grow up to be a great, great man of God. Can you read your Bible? Okay, 
We need to make sure somebody grab my Bible out of the church. We're gonna make sure he goes home tonight with a Bible. And a he, where's it? Is your mama here? Where is she? Right here. Oh, Tima. Yeah. Does he have a Bible, Tima? No. He doesn't. Okay. We'll get you a Bible, okay? And uh, and want you to start reading the Gospel of John. All right? And uh, you, have you given your heart to Jesus? Yeah. Okay. And uh, and how old are you? Ten years old. Amen. Do you love coming to church? You do. Praise the name of the Lord. Have you heard God's voice in your heart? What is, what is he saying to you? <laughs> Y'all hear that? He says when he tries to sneak and get a pop tart, the Lord tells him don't do it. And, uh, how many of you heard the voice of the Lord tell you not to do that? Now, if you're honest, how many of you rebelled against the voice of the Lord? All right. So y'all need to repent. Y'all need to repent. Well, praise the name of the Lord. Well, we're going we're gonna to pray over you and baptize you today, Christian, tonight, Christian. I'm going to get Pastor Raymond to just speak a blessing over you. Pastor Raymond. Father God, we just pray, Lord, just touch this young man right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, just bless him, God, in a mighty way, God. We know that you're going to do great and mighty things through him, God, Lord. And Father God, we pray that you take this word, God, and read it, God, Lord, and just continue to lift him up, God, Lord, and have your way in his life, God. He's an awesome, mighty man of God, Lord, and just touch him, Lord, and we give you all praise and glory for it, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, Christian, with great honor and privilege, we baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, these are some handsome young men getting in this baptismal pool. Come on, y'all put your hands together for Patrick. Now, Patrick, have you given your heart to Jesus? You have? Now, that was your brother earlier, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Do y'all do, do fight all the time? Sometimes. Who, who wins? Oh, okay, okay. At least he's honest, right? <laughs> you know, the thing about it is, no matter how old you get, sometimes you still fight with your family. Am I right about it? Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. But you love the Lord Jesus, right? Yeah. Amen. And you surrendered your heart to him. Yes, sir. And so you understand tonight that what you're doing is just an outward sign of what you've already done in your heart? Yes, sir. Amen. Okay. And do you want to, you have anything you want to say to anybody before we, uh, Baptize you to your mama, to your mama, everybody. I don't know. Good answer. Good answer. Amen. We're gonna baptize you. Let me see. Uh, Elder Bell, do me a favor. Elder Bell, would you would you bless bless him in Jesus' name? Speak life over him, Patrick. We're gonna pray over. Can y'all just stretch your hands toward Patrick as we as we pray over him and pronounce a blessing over him before we baptize him. Father, we thank you so much for this young, mighty man of valor, God. Use him, God. We bless him right now to do great things for the kingdom of Satan with mighty souls to Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Patrick, a great privilege to baptize you tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.
video. Video. Hallelujah. Boy, I'm telling you. 
Oh, and by the way, today is me and my wife's anniversary. We, we celebrate nine years, and she's the best thing that ever happened to me since my salvation. She keeps me straight. I'm telling you, she keeps me straight, and uh, I'm, I'm so grateful for her. I love her. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, she's an amazing, amazing woman of God. But I, I want you to bless her in Jesus' name. Now, if y'all want to give us a Holy Ghost handshake, we'll take one. Amen. Y'all want a Holy Ghost handshake? If y'all want to sow a little love off her, we'll be glad to take one. Uh, she likes all of the garden. She likes Copper River. Hit, hit. Look, 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 look. Where are you? What are you saying? Mexican. That's what she said, Mexican. I think she married me because she thought I was a Mexican. All right, pursue the blessing. your daughter for her coming into the kingdom and being obedient to your word and going down in your name. And God, we thank you for how you're going to use her life and for how you're going to bless her to be a blessing to others. We thank you, Lord God, that she is the head and not the tail, that she's above only and not the lead. We thank you, Lord God, that that your protection will take, will follow her when, even when she's in the school, that she will be a light unto the schoolhouse, that, that she will inspire other young people to come and serve you also, God. And we just thank you, Lord God, for the places that you're going to take her, for the things that you're going to do in her life, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for this mighty woman of God, even right now. And we give you all the honor, all the praise, and we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
wait, he wait, waiting on this season. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> amen, amen. Austin, God bless you. The Holy Ghost is all over Austin. Amen. amen. He is all over you. And we're going to speak a blessing over you. And Austin, how long have you been coming to this church? About a year. Amen. Have you, have you felt growth in your life? Have you welcomed it? She said she got baptized when she was eight, and she kind of strayed away from the Lord, and at 15, she had Joshua, and today, she wants to make her, an outward profession of her faith, so you've given your heart to the Lord completely? Amen. And you have the purpose in your heart that you want to raise your children in the things of God? Amen. You want to serve him wherever he wants you to serve? Is, his life, is your life completely his? Praise the Lord. Was there anything you want to say to, to anybody, anything before you go into work? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Austin. Awesome. You have you have a tender spirit. God, 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 God I'm going to be for the ministry uh, for His glory. It's something about when somebody is sensitive. Uh, to the things of God. And, and, and when you're sensitive to the things of God, no. someone says that you have a, 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 more, a more keen spiritual ear to hear the things of God from the things of God. The Bible says that God gives grace to the humble. Amen? And he resists the proud. And there's something about that, spirit, that place of contriteness, that place of brokenness, that God is attracted. I'm telling you, God is attracted to brokenness. When people are arrogant and cocky and, and walking around like a spiritual people, God, he, 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 that's a stench in his nostrils. But when somebody is broken before the Lord, he says, God, I'm just hungry for you. And whatever you want to do in my life, God, do it. And I'm telling you, the presence of the Lord uh, will fall upon you in a mighty way. And I want my wife to just speak a blessing over you, Austin, uh, before we baptize you. Come on. Just whatever the Lord is in your heart to share. Dear Lord, we thank you for this mighty woman of God, Lord, this, her dedicated heart, God, Lord. I know that you have great things in store for her, Lord, and this is the beginning of great things, Lord. I ask that you take the veil off of her eyes, Lord, that so she can see what that you have for her, God. Lord, I just ask that you just bless her abundantly, Lord. Lord, let her know that she is blessed in her coming in and going out, that she is a mighty woman of God, Lord. Lord, when she opens up that word to read it, Lord, let her feel your love come off of those pages, God. Lord, let her know that today her rededication is so, so important, Lord, that you love her like with an endless love, Lord. Lord, we just lift her up to you right now, Lord, that you will open up doors that no man can shut, Lord. Lord, that you will do things that she knows only comes from your hand, God. So, Lord, we thank you for this mighty woman of God and let her know that she is worthy, Lord, and that she is loved, Lord, and that she is forgiven for all the things that she has done that's been unpleasing to you, God. Lord, that you can forget and you remember nothing, Lord. Lord, we thank you for her life, Lord, and we know that she is going to be used mightily and she hasn't already been used, God. So, Lord, I lift her up to you tonight, Lord. When she comes up out of that water, Lord, she will feel a total different person, Lord. Lord, she will feel her little love on the inside of her, Lord, that she will want to run around and tell how good and great you are, God. So, Lord, we lift her up to you right now, Lord. As, as I lay my hands on her, Lord, Lord, let her feel your love, Lord, through me, God, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you for this night and this great opportunity, Lord. And we ask all these things in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who are sitting back there, I'm telling you, you're missing out. Y'all are welcome to come up here if y'all want to and surround this baptismal pool. I'm telling you, God's doing something up here. So if y'all if y'all want to come up, you're welcome to. If you still feel comfortable sitting there, you're welcome to do that as well. But uh, we're going to baptize you now, Austin. Amen. Y'all feel the presence of the Lord? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a great privilege, Austin, to baptize you tonight. 
in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Lord, 
Father God, they may not understand it fully, Lord, at this age, God, we know that you're going to reveal, Lord, the revelation of what it's all about, God, Lord. We just pray that you bless them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Ayanna, we baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.